We showed up at the top of Birthday Bowl in Haynes, Alaska. Our guide was very confident that there was going to be an instability about 40 centimeters down. We talked through all of the factors that might go into how this avalanche might move on me. I knew my safe points, and as I dropped in, about four turns in, my everything started fracturing around me. The snow started moving. I was like right at that breaking point of my safety spot. Well, that was crazy. As soon as I dropped in, I knew I shouldn't have been there. From the top, I knew I shouldn't have been there, but there were so many things that really played a part in my decision making, and a lot of that was being in terrain I was already comfortable with. My ego, I really wanted to prove myself, all of which was not a smart decision. Thankfully, I was okay, but I definitely put myself and my crew at risk because I didn't listen to the warning signs, and I learned so much from that lesson. Nothing like starting your morning off like that. I think it's fair to say that I, I jumped in head first into the backcountry snowboarding. I took an avalanche course right off the bat. Um, and then I actually have hired a lot of different guides in situations where I don't know the terrain or I don't know the mountain range. Um, and also just to learn safety. I'm comfortable on my snowboard and I know I can snowboard, but this is a whole new element that I'm not, I'm not comfortable with. That is not a good slope to ski. Backcountry skiing and snowboarding means anything outside of a ski resort. It means that you are on your own. The mountains could come down in an avalanche at any time, and you need to know when that might happen and where that might happen. You're in a slide, bud. I'm not a very good surfer, but if I'm paddling out into the ocean and I see huge waves, that's a pretty obvious risk for me. But out in the mountains, the risks aren't so obvious. It might look like a beautiful powder slope, but the second I touch that slope, the whole thing could come down in an avalanche. The fact is, any one of us on any given day could get in trouble in the backcountry. We're humans, we make mistakes. The important thing is that we learn from each other's mistakes, we learn from our own mistakes, and we share this information and talk about it. One of the hardest things you can do in the mountains is to turn around or say no on a really awesome powder day. Yeah. Just waiting for, just waiting for Jeff to flash up, and I will count Leanna. The avalanche conditions at the time were rated as moderate, so we knew that there was a chance for a storm slab release, um, but we decided to take that risk and start filming. Avalanche, avalanche. I was definitely nervous dropping in, and actually um, the avalanche happened on my second run. I just was worried about the avalanche situation, and I got through that line, and that just gave me so much false confidence. So by the time I got up to my second line, I was really digging in deep, taking my sweet time, making some nice slashes, and I air off this finger, and then boom, I was all of a sudden caught in everything just cracking above me to the both peripherals and I didn't really know what to do. I didn't think I had any other option than trying to ride it out. I did everything I could to just kind of straight line but at a 45 because I had studied my line prior to riding it and I knew that my safe zone was out to the right underneath a big rock. So all the snow kind of went out to the left and fanned out and I was able to make it a little bit over. I think we definitely discussed with the guide um, what the issue was and we knew that it was storm slab and I think we kind of just downplayed it in our minds what a storm slab is capable of doing. When I'm in the mountains, I don't want to rely on anyone else to make decisions for me. I need to use my voice to speak up and help the whole team be safe. We want to send, but we want to send and return. That's the goal. That's a, I think Michelle had that in her presentation. There's like a hashtag send and return. That's awesome. So that's a good one.